I'm Alexandra Queen, Assistant Managing Editor here at the Mer American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here with Dr. Joseph Alpert, the Editor-in-Chief. And in this month's journal, we have an article about the different causes of death in patients with the various subtypes of myocardial infarction. Dr. Alpert, tell us about it. Yes, Alex. Uh, so in last 15 years, there's been a lot of work on the different subtypes of myocardial infarction. We all know about the, the classic one where the patient comes in clutching their chest, often with a bald fist. Um, that's the patient who's had a blocked coronary artery, has to go to the catheterization laboratory and have it opened up, get a lot of blood thinners and so forth to prevent the clot. But then there's two other kinds of, of injury to the heart. Um, one of them is caused by low blood pressure or elevated heart rate. That is an abnormal supply demand imbalance in the heart without a clot in the artery. And then there's a, an even third type where we see an injury to the heart that's caused by high levels of adrenaline, for example, where it's not even a heart attack, it's just a myocardial injury. And we now have rules for, for differentiating each of these different forms of myocardial infarction. And it turns out that the type 1 myocardial infarction is the one that needs the catheterization laboratory. Let's open the artery and let's stop the heart attack. The type 2 really, and, and also by the way, the non ischemic myocardial injury, the real thing there is to take care of the patient. Whatever the underlying illness, concentrate on that. The fact that you're seeing the myocardial injury is telling you this patient is very sick, but it doesn't mean they need a trip to the catheterization laboratory, they don't need anticoagulants, they need focusing on their underlying illness, which is quite severe. That's what they're telling you with the type 2 myocardial infarction or the non-ischemic myocardial injury. What is the take-home message for practicing clinicians? here is clear. Physicians need to educate themselves by reading the American Heart Association, American College of Cardiology, European Society of Cardiology, and World Heart Federation definitions, universal definitions for the different types of myocardial infarction and myocardial injury. And when they see a type 1 MI, of course, that's the one where you want to get the artery open and get the blood pressure down and blood thinners and so forth. But the other two are just a reflection of how sick the patient is and they need to distinguish that and take care of the underlying illness particularly aggressively. Um, taking a patient like that to the catheterization laboratory would probably hurt them badly. So again, it's a question of education. Not every time we see an elevated blood troponin level, which is an in, a marker for myocardial injury, not every one of those is a heart attack. Many of them you know, are injuries to the heart that are not related to a blockage in the artery, and they need to be treated very, very differently.